What's up, Trucking Empire? Coming back at you guys. I'm actually at the local school here. Um, best place to record that I could think of down the street from my house. Um, I'm actually recording on a 13 Pro Max. I know y'all see that crispy camera quality. So today's video is gonna be about um, how to sleep in the day cab, uh, the most co comfortable way possible in this box truck. So I know you guys, a lot of you say that you can't sleep in the, the box truck comfortably. Um, I'll show you guys some hacks that I've learned. Um, you know what makes it easiest for me how i do five week stretches in the truck um i find it pretty easy pretty comfortable i compare the you know the uh bench seat almost to uh and, and, the, and the regular seat combined almost like to a uh, twin size bed is what i compare it to to everybody else um to put it in perspective um but yeah it's pretty simple um let's get right to it i'm gonna transition over to the uh reverse camera so you guys can see what i got going on all right, so I'm coming back at you guys with the cinematic mode. Um, I'm hoping that it's good enough quality um, and it doesn't blur out too much in the background um, for you guys to be able to see what's going on. So we're gonna start with my first essential is uh, obviously the, the car plug-in. You can get these at Pilot. I think I paid 11 bucks for mine. It's got a fast charger for your phone, um, an Android charger, Apple charger, Apple charger. I use the Android one for my Apple Watch, the fast one for my phone. It's got protection so it doesn't overcharge your phone. Um, and these two I use for random stuff. Um, let's see here. My second essential would be, you know, we got the, the, the handy dandy miniature uh, sweeper here. You get these at Dollar General for like five bucks. I know the truck's a little bit dirty right now. I haven't cleaned it up yet. Um, and then we've got, let's see here. We've got a, um, almost like a curtain for like, the, like what the semi drivers use. I'll show you guys how to set that up here shortly. Um, and then we've got a blanket, or a sheet, rather. Um, I'll lay it across my uh, bench seat and across the uh, regular seat here. Um, so you guys can see. Um, I'll go ahead and lay all of this out in a second like I get ready for bed. Um, lay it across here and everything. And then we've got a blanket. I recommend getting a, a little bit thicker one than this. Um, it's kind of hard to stay stay warm in the trucks off, especially on these cold winter nights, especially when you get up north. But I'll get to that later and get another one. These are actually magnets for my door covers. I'm not going to show you the front of them because I don't want you know my entire um, you know DOT and everything to be exposed. A lot of personal information connected to that. Um, then I've got obviously two pillows. Um, I have a third pillow, but it's getting washed up right now. Um, nor normally what I do to set up the pillows is I put one in the crack here. I lay my head long ways. So I lay my head on the, the long part of the bench and I put my feet up on the seat because it's a little bit um, uneven. I'll put a pillow here, a pillow in that crack there. If you guys can see if it'll focus in that crack. And then I'll put another one um, for my head and uh, lay the sheet under, obviously, so my skin doesn't stick to the seat. Um, and yeah, that's that. Let's see, I've got a work vest for if I do Amazon. Um, sometimes you need that for, you know, getting out of traffic, somebody outside of the truck um, directing you, et cetera, et cetera, just to be safe um, in case you have a breakdown too. Let's see, break this down here. I'm gonna raise the seat here. Um, this here. As brackets from something else that I'm gonna get to later. Um, I've got a couple U-line straps, two actually, and then I've got my emergency kit here. These come with the budget trucks, so you don't have to buy one of these when you get a budget truck, but you can, it's optional. Um, I recommend you do have one for sure. Um, and I think that's it for essentials. Um, this charging kit's actually for my blind i actually uh, ripped one of the hooks off so i'll show you guys what i'm doing with that in a second it's kind of some improvisation um you know i normally have a charger in here play music while i'm going down the road and that's uh that's essentially it for this truck um in the front i have some gloves here i'm gonna go back i'm gonna have my girlfriend record me uh open in the back and i'll show you some of the essentials i have to have while over the road in the back that helped me kind of get jobs done, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'll see you guys when I get to the back. All right, you guys, we're at the back of the truck, like I said. Um, I kind of wanted to show you guys a tip with this lock. Um, so with the with some of the budget trucks, with the 22 freight, uh, 2022 Freightliner M2s, to be specific, 
this metal here is too thick for the smaller locks. So you want to make sure you get a bigger um, lock. I like Master Lock. You can get them from Harbor Freight or Dollar General pretty cheap. Um, let me get this unlocked for you guys. The smaller ones kind of have an issue with, um, I had one initially and it was in, almost impossible to get it off of here. So I did away with that. Got the bigger one. Open it up here. All right, y'all, so now we're in the truck. Um, we got a ratchet strap for you line, obviously. I usually keep one back here, but I'll put one other one back here if I need one. I have not run into a low road needed two yet with this truck. Um, I've got some E-Track um, low bars. We've got two of those. Um, I'll show you guys in a later video um, how to use all your equipment and everything if you are brand new to this, if you never mess with any equipment or anything. We've got an extra strap here, which actually came from another load. It's just an extra off of some equipment. I can't use it. There's no uh, no metal pieces to it or anything. It's literally just strapped. Um, I'm actually going to throw that away after this video. So I keep extra um, uh, bungee cords in here just in case to secure anything if I need to. Um, I have not really needed them very much. I use them for the pallet jack, which we'll get to that. It is a um, U-line pallet jack. It's only a month of use. Obviously, it's pretty dirty. I'm going to get dirty quick. And I secure that with a pallet jack stopper. It's just a rubber piece and then it rolls it on. Get my shoes dirty here. Once you roll it in there, it should not go anywhere. It's completely secure. Um, I haven't had any problems with that. I drive pretty crazy I'm trying to get loads there quick. Um, other than that, sometimes I'll put it against the wall and I'll bungee cord it to the wall just for safety measures. Other than that, um, I think that's it for equipment. And then I'm gonna tap in with you guys from the front of the truck and show you how I set up for sleep. All right, guys, so we'll pretend we just pulled into a truck stop. Um, this is like, you know, every night when I set up for bed, I'm gonna show you live how long it takes me, all that good stuff. So uh, come over here and I'll show you guys. So I start with the sheet. Sometimes I just leave the sheet out because um, I don't feel like remaking it every night. And there's not much room in here to mess with. So I like this, the sheet to be pretty thin because it doesn't serve much purpose other than uh, keeping my skin from sticking to the leather when I'm asleep. Uh, tuck it in here. I'm going to show you guys a little bit from my point of view. Uh, sorry that sun's kind of blaring. Let's see. So here. Tuck it all in. Kind of difficult to do with holding the camera. All right. Let's see. So next step is I'm gonna well, I'm gonna pass this phone back to her. Next step, you put the pillow here, stuff it down in the crack. It's kind of I leave that pillow there normally, just because when I lay down, I don't like my head to fall into a crack. It's really weird for me. Uh, set my pillow up to sleep on and like i said before before i put the sheet down usually i have my third pillow which is being washed now um, to cover this crack so that my feet kind of go over that instead of having to go up a, onto the seat next will be um we'll do the blanket last actually so i'm gonna show you guys how i set up my handy dandy sun blocker a lot of guys in the box truck gang don't really know about this, um, but my guy from Chucking Out the Box showed me this a long time ago. Um, as you can see though, every spot's supposed to have a hook. Um, it does not, because the hooks kind of wear off after a while, um, which is why I have this for the center part here, because I don't have a hook anymore. But I'll show you guys how to deal with that. So I set a hook in here into the plastic. I'll show you guys a little bit more closely set my hook into the, not plastic, into the leather of the sun visor. Um, and then I'll set another one on the opposite side. Pretty quick. Stretch it across here, set it in. And you pretty much have shade here. Um, this is where my charger comes into place. Like I said, it's kind of like a survivalist thing. I had to figure it out as I was going because I lost a hook. I actually put it through, pull it through here. Um, let's see close it and then I will tie it up 
so now you have complete blockage along the top here. And then over here, I'll roll the window down a little bit. And let me see, into the window sill here. I tuck my blind into here and then roll the window up or leave it down a little bit. It'll stay up if you tuck it all the way in, depending on how hot it is, which is really cold right now. Um, if it's cold, I just roll it all the way up and then you have complete coverage still. Um, I'll show you guys how I do that. But if it's hot, obviously roll it down a little bit if you're trying not to run the truck off. All right, I don't know what happened with the video. My phone just ran to stop recording. Um, but yeah, um, I like to keep the truck running as little as possible at night. So if it is hot, um, I'll leave the window down just to kind of keep the truck off as long as possible until I can't bear it anymore and get too hot. Um, the more money you save, the less, less you're on the truck, um, the better, obviously, because it's more money in your pocket. So yeah, you tuck it in. Sometimes it gives me a little difficulty. Tuck it in. Roll your window up. It's not going anywhere. Um, this is how I keep the sun out if I'm sleeping during the day. And then, um, let's see. Obviously, I did the same thing for that side. And then it's completely black out. I lay my cover out and uh, I sleep just fine. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's how I set the truck up for sleep at night. Um, I usually have a bag there um, with my laptop, all that good stuff. I may sit down and watch a movie with my hotspot, something along those lines. Um, but this is the most comfortable way I found. Um, my guy from trucking, not trucking out the box, uh, Box Truck Bros, as a matter of fact, put me on to. Uh, I've seen his video for essentials and he actually uses a dog bed and then a sheet over that and a comforter. And he said it's like a um, a full on uh, memory foam. So um, that might be something you guys want to try. But uh, other than that, um, I'll keep switching the camera around here. I just want to make sure I touch on everything. I got one more thing for you guys. Um, I don't want to show my information too much. I have a DOT compliance folder. Um, you go in here. Obviously, you have to have a manual logbook for if you have any issues. You get these at Pilot, any truck stop for two, three bucks. Um, but this here, um, it's essentially my budget agreement, all of my paperwork, um, everything that I need to be compliant with the DOT department. Um, if I get stopped at a way station, or whatever, insurance cards, all that good stuff. Um, I've got all of my previous loads. Because I need to go back to those and refer to them later. I stuff them on my first page. And I have all of my goodies here. Paperwork. Um, all that stuff. So I highly recommend you guys do that. Um, and then, you know, you'll be completely com compliant. And uh, they, they really recommend you guys have those. The DOT does. So other than that, like I said, I think that's everything. Alright, y'all. So I wanted to add something to the video. Um, as you guys know, when I got this truck recently... Um, when I first got it, I was running under trucking out the box and then I changed over to my DOT before I went home and I had my uh, magnetic signs and stuff sent to the house. So I did not have those in my possession yet. So if you're ever in a pinch and you just get a truck um, and you want to operate straight from the budget, you can uh, put these on here. Um, all it is is white duct tape um, and then poster board and then some, some Sharpies. That's all it is, is a Sharpie. You put, um, I like to do it like this. So I put a, a piece of um, paper like this right here. Um, and I put duct tape over each corner so it doesn't catch in the wind. And this makes it through the wind or the rain, wind, all that good stuff. It's, it's not failed me. I had it for four weeks. I'm about to take it off now for the first time. But, um, you know, you put your company name and then you make sure you put the duct tape across and across here. Put your DOT number and your MC number right here. And, um, DOT won't mess with you at all. It'll work for you in a pinch if you need it. So there's that. And um, like I said, tomorrow I'm doing some live video calls. Or not live video calls, but live phone calls with brokers. I'm going to actually find you got, uh, a load live. I think we're going to base it out of Chicago. I'm not sure yet, but I'll touch on that tomorrow. Um, yeah, see you guys then.